This video is called Top Animals We Are Glad Don't Exist Anymore. The grammar of the title is already making me have not good vibes. Okay, so let's enjoy the video. Welcome back, nature enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the prehistoric world to explore some of the most terrifying creatures that once roamed the earth. Even from the title itself, you can tell that this guy treats these prehistoric animals like they're monsters. From monstrous sharks to colossal birds. These are not birds. These are pterosaurs. These extinct animals will make you grateful you weren't around to encounter them. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Smilodon our first contender on the list is the Smilodon, commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger. Which is not how you describe a Smilodon, especially when it comes to paleontology. Despite its name, it wasn't closely related to modern tigers. With a weight of up to 600 pounds and 7-inch long canine teeth. That is an acceptable estimate for Smilodon fatalis and Smilodon populator, but Smilodon grac gracilis, no. Smilodon fatalis was a fearsome predator 10,000 years ago in Western America. Its upper incisors were designed for puncturing vital areas of its prey, making it a formidable force in the Ice Age. Number 2. Megalodon Megalo! I uh, didn't say anything else after that. Uh, this is the end of the video. Joking. Next up, we have the infamous Megalodon a species of mackerel shark that lived approximately 3.6 million years ago. Estimated to reach up to 67 feet in length, three times longer than the largest great white shark, Megalodon possessed a bite force of up to 41,000 pounds. Megalodon should still be treated as an animal and not a bloodthirsty monster who loved fighting to the death. Also, 67 feet is a higher estimate for the Megalodon. If it weren't what would stink, our oceans might have been off limits for humans. So, who's grateful for the absence of this abominable shark? You just called Megalodon abominable, which is probably the worst thing to describe a Megalodon. Number 3. Sarcosochus. Sarcosochus. Did I hear it wrong? Uh, probably not, because this known theorem is the most ridiculous of sarcosuchus I've ever seen. Living around 113 million years ago, these giants reached lengths of 29 to 31 feet and weighed 3.5 to 4.5 tons. With 35 teeth on each side of the upper jaw, they could have even taken down a Tyrannosaurus if it came too close. Okay, so like, the sarcosuchus and the T-Rex did not coexist with each other. Like, like, the Sarcosuchus does have a chance of defeating a T-Rex, but a better chance would definitely be from a Dinosuchus. Not to mention, T-Rex is very agile, and Sarcosuchus' attacks might miss a lot. Thankfully, our modern-day crocodiles seem like gentle creatures compared to these ancient predators. Stop trying to blackwash an animal, an animal, a Sarcosuchus. That is an animal and not a monster. Number 4 terror birds. If the name doesn't send shivers down your spine, the- I just wheezed in laughter when I said that. Okay, this is cra- this is terror bird- you, you- you're saying it as if the terror bird was the most terrifying thing to have ever existed. Description will. Terror birds, the apex predators of South America during the Cenozoic era, were around 8 feet tall, weighing approximately 300 pounds. With powerful bills and massive legs, they were skilled carnivorous predators, capable of chasing down prey. Don't they also ambush as well? The whole point of a predator is to kill and eat prey. And uh, I don't think the terror bird would want to run every time. Honestly, I think the terror, bir terror birds, like forest ratcats, Kalenka, whatever, they can run very fast, but like... Well, Alright, to be fair, they can run very fast, and they can chase their prey down. They, they also ambush, though, to keep that in mind. Fortunately, they preferred the meat of already dead dinosaurs, sparing us from their predatory gaze. Meat from dead dinosaurs! Non-avian dinosaurs were already extinct. Uh, 
Do they just eat their fellow comrades because they are dinosaurs themselves? These forest rackety. Number 5. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Every list includes the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Every single one of these. No list of terrifying extinct animals is complete without the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Known as the Tyrant King of Lizards, this colossal theropod dinosaur ruled Western North America 68 million years ago. With a length of 40 feet, a height of 12 feet, and a crushing bite force, the T-Rex was the ultimate predator. Obviously, the T-Rex isn't invincible. I mean, just look at Triceratops, Anki, and all these sauropods in its environment, like the Alamosaurus, they just destroy the T-Rex. And even if it wants to hunt the Montosaurus, it mostly has to do it with two of two T-Rexes, because one T-Rex would just be too risky to deal with the Montosaurus, because the Montosaurus is incredibly powerful. Its keen sense of smell made it a formidable hunter, leaving us grateful it's no longer part of our ecosystem. You're saying that as if the T-Rex is the destroyer of ecosystems. No, every animal, every... Everything, every living organism is part of the ecosystem. Without one of these, everything just goes to... Number 6, Titanoboa. Do you mean to pronounce it as Titanoboa or Titanoboa? Okay. Okay, I guess the pronunciation is not great, but it's fine, I guess. Slithering into the spotlight is the Titanoboa, the T, Rex of Snakes. Uh, this is probably just a text-to-speech AI voice. This is not a real human voice by the looks of it. Living 56 to 65 million years ago. 65 million years ago. That is just absolutely ridiculous. It actually lived 60 to 58 million years ago. In modern-day Colombia, these non-venomous snakes could grow up to 42 feet long and weigh a staggering 2,500 pounds. Whether they constricted their prey or ambushed them like an anaconda, the Titanoboa was a nightmare for anything in its path. Number 7. Plesiosaurus Plesiosaurus is a massive marine reptile that existed around 228 million years ago. Plesiosaurs! Even if it's plesiosaurs, the earliest ones lived 203 million years ago. The Plesiosaurus itself lived 199.6 to 175.6 million years ago. Mistaken by many as a dinosaur, this long-necked marine creature had a sleek body, wide flippers, and needle-like teeth. Imagine encountering an 11-foot Plesiosaurus during your beach vacation. It's enough to make anyone stay on the shore. Animals are fascinating. You should treat these extinct animals as fascinating animals, the majestic creatures, not the bloodthirsty monsters from every single one of these seem like they're from Jurassic Fight Club or something. Number 8, Quetzalcoatlus. This is the worst way of pronouncing Quetzalcoatlus that I've ever heard of in my life. Taking to the skies. We have the Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying creatures to ever exist. These are not Quetzalcoatlus. With a wingspan of 45 feet and weighing around 550 pounds, these aerial giants roam the Cretaceous period. What Cretaceous period? They only appeared during the end of the Cretaceous. And it's not like they were the only pterosaurs that roamed the skies in the end of Cretaceous. There's also the Hatsokopteryx in Hungary and Romania in the Hatek Island. Despite their massive size, they likely scavenged rather than actively hunted, waiting for opportunities to feast on dinosaur carcasses. Imagine these colossal creatures soaring above a spectacle we're grateful we'll never witness. I would be astonished, not terrified. These are majestic creatures. Number 9. Megapurin has. These water monsters... These things are not monsters, these are animals. Ten times larger than modern-day Piranhas, were thought to be 28 inches in length and weighed around 25 pounds. With a bite force that surpassed their smaller counterparts, encountering a school of Megapyranhas would have been a terrifying ordeal. They don't have the same behavior as these piranhas depicted on media. 
Number 10. Helicoprion Wrapping up our journey through prehistoric nightmares is the Helicoprion, also known as the Buzzsaw Rat Shark. With spirally arranged clusters of teeth and a bite force three times more powerful than a T. Rex. Every single time I heard of the war statements that I've seen, I meant it. This is the absolute worst one because this is absolutely stupidly and utterly redonkulous, bogus, and oh my god, I'm so mad about uh, some someone spoiled it in my Discord server and uh yeah, uh, they weren't kidding when they said that this... Eh, oh my goodness. I'm still speechless about this. Vex, Vex sea sharks. Extinct for 225 million years. Didn't they just live during the Permian period 290 to 270 million years ago? Would have been a sight to behold. Luckily, they're confined to the pages of history, leaving us with a sense of relief. And there you have it, folks. Our exploration of the top 10 terrifying extinct animals that we're grateful no longer roam the earth. Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling content. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe. This is one of the worst paleontology videos I've ever seen. Because of all of these absolutely ridiculous statements, at least this video got on point i guess but like does it even matter if the if the things that this guy says the ai voice there's these statements are absolutely ridiculous thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy i'll see you on the next one